Hi everybody, this is Eric from DocuData. I'm just going to show you how to install Pervasive Client version 10 on your workstation to be used uh, with EDC. Uh, in this scenario here, I'm assuming that there is already uh, the server engine installed on your server, on the network. So, um, I've already done the install, so I'm not going to show the actual install per se. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, the only thing that you want to know is that when the installer runs it will ask you if you want to install it as a service or as an application. Uh, you always want to install it as a service. It's, it's, it's just more stable in the long run. And also a uh, previous client doesn't require any license key to run so you don't need to worry about that also. Now once the initial setup is done then you just need to tweak a few parameters here in the control center so we go here in the control center okay and then we open the local client we right click on the microkernel router properties and here starting at the top Access, there is nothing to change. We don't touch that. Communication protocol, you just want to make sure the enable auto reconnect is selected and only TCP IP should be selected here. Under performance tuning, you want to use the cache engine if possible, it will make it a bit faster. Under security, we put this setting to no because EDC doesn't make any use of this and also this will prevent uh, some possible permission errors from coming up with EDC. Under the cache engine, uh, this, the initial settings are pretty good, you don't need to change anything here, but worst comes to worst, this setting here, cache allocation size in megabytes, you might want to tweak this uh, if you have a very slow machine or not powerful, if you have let's say only 128 megabytes of RAM on your machine and you're already using your machine for uh, other things than EDC then maybe 64 is a bit much for you in that case maybe you want to tweak it down to 32 megabytes or something but in general with today's machine uh, 64 is not a big deal so you should leave it at that cache engine debugging there's nothing to change in here application characteristics either so once we've done that we just press apply here and OK and to make sure the settings take effect you just go right click on the services here and you restart and that's it Pervasive is now configured and ready to go so that ends this uh, video, and uh, I'll see you next time.